finally had a week or more of sustained dry heat and as such it's starting to look and feel a lot more like summer. The nice fresh white clean snow line is slowly but surely creeping up the mountain and yeah, things looking very orange now. It's by no means been a heat wave, not yet, just normal mid-July summer temperatures really but of course normal July temperatures now would probably be considered a heat wave 10 years ago. Freezing levels have been up around 4,200 metres pretty consistently but it's been perfect conditions for the overnight refreeze so the snow is still really good condition on the glacier for cramponing so yeah still great alpine conditions but the heat is continuing to build freezing levels are going to be creeping up towards the summit of Mont Blanc over the next few days so don't know how long this good conditions will last we shall have to see but for now at least I'm around 3,500 meters it's mid-morning now the sun's been up for a long time but the snow's still excellent for walking on so yeah glacier travel is still really easy right now but with all this heat conditions are changing very very rapidly especially on the routes so as such some of the information I give will be obsolete even before I've made this edit let alone by the time some of you watched it and the same goes for any conditions report you read or videos you watch just the nature of the game this time of year so don't treat what I say or anyone else says as gospel just because somebody did a route yesterday doesn't mean it's going to be good today but just treat this information as a snapshot in time and then use your best judgement what's the weather been like since you saw this report and then how's the route likely to deteriorate since then full roundup of the conditions as I've done previously because everything's changing so fast now but a few noteworthy points of interest so it's over for the Migo Spur now on the Chardonnay apparently the Bergeron is now impassable but the Forbes Wet is apparently still in good condition and the descent the Voie Normal is holding up pretty well as well it's getting pretty busy now on Le Drew the Drew Traverse is in pretty good condition there is still some snow on the ledges but it's climbable and the Chapeau Glacier is it's getting more and more difficult each day but it's still passable at the moment so lots of teams are crossing the Drew right now. Sadly it's now over for the Wimper Couloir on the Vert which means I've missed it again for another season but again the Bergschrund is now impassable and it's getting too dry and just too warm now although it may still be possible to descend it if you're quick enough if you've gone up a different route but yeah it's probably it for the Vert now for this year as well. North face of the Grand Jurass doesn't see much action but from a distance it actually looks to have some pretty good mixed climbing conditions so that's food for thought. A few teams have managed to make it across the Drash Traverse itself. There's probably still a lot of snow on it, so it makes it makes the going difficult, but with the descent being south facing, it's probably better to have a more tricky ascent and still have good conditions for the descent. So now is probably a reasonably good time to be doing the Drash Traverse. But the approach <coughs> for the ridge and the indeed for the Don de Gion and the Rette de Rochefort as well is getting very dry now, very chossy. There's been a few rock falls there, so need to be aware of that, especially if you're heading up later in the day to start the Drash Traverse. It's now over two for the year for the Frendo. It's been a very, very short window where it's actually been climbable, but it was briefly very busy about a week ago. But yeah, both exits, the left and the right, around the Rognon are now too dry. But too much black ice, too too much rock, so yeah. Plus also the risk of rock fall and swack fall on the approach is probably getting too high now as well. So yeah, the Frendo's done for yet another year. The Grand Moulet hut closes in a few days now, so it's pretty much over for the season for that route now too, on foot or on skis, definitely on skis. But the Trois Monts and the normal route are still in pretty good condition. The snow's holding up well. Yeah, the crevasses are getting bigger and bigger, but they're still all passable, so yeah. If you're heading up Mont Blanc, then it's the uh, Trois Monts is probably the best bet, or the Gouta route. As for the Guy Rouge, most things in the Brabant sector now are approachable without needing to cross any snow. If you do encounter any snow patches, it's going to be pretty, pretty small and on relatively flat ground, so you can do most routes with approach shoes if you want to. But if you are climbing anything in the index sector, apart from the index itself, there's still a lot of snow around. You're going to need proper footwear and trekking poles, or at least one anyway, as a bare minimum, potentially an ice axe. You're likely to come into difficulty if you're trying to approach a lot of the routes there in approach shoes. 
and also even just getting off the snow and onto the rock can still prove pretty difficult in some places there's still a, effectively a pseudo bergstrand and a lot of routes as well so yeah still a big alpine feel on the index sector of the Guy Rouge even though it's just a short walk from top of the left not surprisingly in all this heat there has been a number of big rock falls already now so very recently there was yet another big one on the west face of the Drew so it's probably worth avoiding any routes on the west face now until it gets colder again in September. As I've already mentioned there's been a few rock falls on the approach up to the Don de Gion. There's lots of rock falls on the normal route on the Tour Rond, some rock falls over on the descent of the Guimarbre. The Cosmic Arete itself is looking very very dry around the area of previous rock falls. So I'm sure there's going to be other rock falls around there this season as well so even though people will still be doing it in their hundreds every day of the year it's probably best to avoid the Cosmic Arete now. The sector around the abseils and the traverse between the abseils and the crux yeah it's very dry very chossy so in other words it's gone quite quickly from very very late spring into hot summer conditions right now everything's drying out rapidly so you need to be aware of all the usual hazards rock falls serac collapses and of course weak snow bridges so yeah you need to be switched on now and in a high alpine environment and one final thing to be aware of it's now silly season in chamonix if you think chamonix is busy in winter you should see it in July and August, or rather, you really shouldn't see it. Don't come in July and August if you can avoid it. If you're not tied to the school holidays, come before or after. Go somewhere else right now, because it is crazy, crazy busy. Massive queues to get up and down the midi. Refuges are all booked out weeks in advance. Bivouacs are full. Yeah, it's just crazy busy everywhere you go, everywhere you look. So yeah, if you can avoid it, wait till September. <laughs>